Scripture teaches us that for everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. My friends, no matter what title you all, my colleagues, have bestowed upon me, speaker, leader, whip, there is no greater official honor for me than to stand on this floor and to speak for the people of San Francisco. This I will continue to do as a member of the House, speaking for the people of San Francisco, serving the great state of California, and defending our Constitution. And with great confidence in our caucus, I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. For me, the hours come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus that I so deeply respect. And I'm grateful that so many are ready and willing to shoulder this awesome responsibility. Madam Speaker, standing here today, I'm endlessly grateful for all of life's blessings. For my Democratic colleagues whose courage and commitment with the support of your families have made many of these accomplishments possible. In fact, could not have been done without you. For my dear husband, Paul, who has been my beloved partner in life and my pillar of support, thank you. We're all grateful for all the prayers and well wishes as he continues his recovery. Thank you so much. Our darling children, Nancy, Corinne, Christine, Jacqueline, Paul, and Alexandra, and our grandchildren, Alexandra and Madeline, Liam, Sean, and Ryan, Paul and Thomas, Bella and Octavio, they are the joys of our lives for whom we, um, and we are so very, very proud of them and a comfort to us at this time. <laughs> And for my brilliant, dedicated, and patriotic staff, under the leadership of Terry McCullough, together, working together, the finest group of public servants the House has ever known. Thank you all so much. And again, for those who sent me here, for the people of San Francisco for entrusting me with the high honor of being their voice in Congress. In this continued work, I will strive to honor the call of the patron saint of our city, St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. In this house, we begin each day with a prayer and a pledge to the flag, and every day, I am in awe of the majestic miracle that is American democracy. As we participate in a hallmark of our republic, the peaceful orderly transition from one Congress to the next, let us consider the words of, again, President Lincoln, spoken during one of America's darkest hours. He called upon us to come together, to swell the chorus of the Union, when once again touched, as surely they will be, by the better angels of our nature. That again is the task at hand. A new day is dawning on the horizon, and I look forward, always forward, to the unfolding story of our nation, a story of light and love, of patriotism and progress, of many becoming one and always an unfinished mission to make the dreams of today the reality of tomorrow. Thank you all 
May God bless you and your families, and may God bless, continue to bless our veterans and the United States of America. Thank you all so much.